Tell them, boo. What's up, baby? I, listen, you know we be trying to do shit. We can't never be on time, and we we're four minutes late, and we can never, ever, ever. I can never, ever, ever be organized. Good morning, my dear. Hello, how you doing? It's Talk Back Tuesday. How was your Memorial Day weekend and all that foolishness? Ah, uh, busy, busy, busy. Show, shows, and more shows. So, oh. yeah. Where were you getting? Where were you getting? Uh oh. Philadelphia Friday, New York on Saturday. <laughs> Huh? Philadelphia Friday, New York on Saturday. Okay. How was it? It was great. Had a good time. A lot of drive. Who were you in Philly with? I was in Philly with my girl Maria Sanchez from Baltimore, who's hilarious. She killed the joint. What? She killed, she killed that joint. She did. Um, my man Scooter from Philly. Oh, so funny guy. Scooter. Scooter was doing a radio show with Lil Mo. Right. Are they still doing yeah. that? The podcast? I don't know. I don't okay. know. That, yeah, that was cool. That was that was Skeet. That was who? That's Skeet Carter, my man Skeet. Oh, that was Skeet. That wasn't cool. Okay. Yeah. That, that's New York. Yeah. Maria Sanchez. You know, it's sacrifice. All in, that's all the all the names of Philly. School to Skeet, sacrifice, all their names. <laughs> <Philly> names. <laughs> You tell me shit, little Timmy. <laughs> School is key, sacrifice. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Bree. Welcome to the party. Y'all know it's Talk Back Tuesday, and we're going to be talking a little crappy about everything, just a little bit, because this, this is that show. This is that show where we do, we talk about anything and everything and mostly absolutely nothing. Hello. Yeah, little Timmy, we don't know that much. We don't know that much. And we the most what? I'm prepared. I'm prepared. <laughs> prepared show you ever. ever see. And it is way too early for that shit. shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. What's going on, dude? How was your weekend? Mm. My weekend was good. It was old man Lester's birthday week. So he, he everybody was surprised the nigga made it to his birthday. <laughs> It was Wednesday, so we had to wait a couple extra days to make sure that that nigga was still going to be alive before we spent money. So we celebrated him on Saturday. We celebrated him on Sunday, and it was cute. It was cute or whatever, you know. We got celebrated, man. You know, all old people go to Red Lobster. (laughs) No, we we did have, uh, there was a lobster involved. (laughs) It wasn't red, though. We had like a little uh, brunch celebration at my house for him. And it was fun. All of the old usual suspects. Everybody was over 70. <laughs> yeah. You know, old people love cheddar biscuits. They love them cheddar. Old <laughs> people do. love cheddar biscuits. They do. I don't know what it is about oh, old people. Because they soft and warm because they got no teeth for their gums. They soft and warm. They, Good morning, they Bradley. Bradley said he had to go directly to the page. That's right. And we was almost on time, too, Bradley. Good morning, America. Good morning, America. <laughs> and good morning, you misfits. It is too early for your shit this hey, morning. Hey, you stop. say good morning, America? We ain't that popular. You we are. We, 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 <laughs> it's your room at this party whenever you want to come, okay? You shut the hell up, Timmy. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> Big Dell, welcome to the party. What's we back at it. Big Dell been over there smashing little niggas, so watch yourself, Tiffany. <laughs> Listen, so you've been out there uh, with the junkies this morning. How, so, do they, they really do line up? They still yeah, line this up? This morning was ridiculous. You just said, it's been bad, but this morning was ridiculous. I go back in the alley. It had to be, and then I, I'm probably under-exaggerating, 60 people standing, and they had straight line formation like they had the bank waiting for drugs. I cannot believe that, little Timmy. I cannot believe that people still Baltimore, do. That Baltimore is, like I said, we unlike any other city when it comes to drug selling. You know, it, it's like any, it's, it's like, any, I'm telling you, it's, if I was to bring you down here, Nick, you probably relax. I mean, no, if I bring you back down here, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that. You, you do good. You do good. You've been away for a while. Fuck you, now, you Timmy, I'm never going back. Well, no, if, I, if I bring you back, if I bring you down here and you see the shit that I see, you would never believe it. Are you serious? It's, it's that we we are unlike any other city. Baltimore is unlike any other city when it comes to drugs and it is so. You will never have another city like this. Wow, it's that terrible. is bananas. 
I, so. I have a really, really hard time believing that that shit is really going on like that because the shit they buying on the corner, it's not legal. It, it, it wasn't legal then and it ain't legal now. That guy that fentanyl is a monster. That fentanyl is, wow. is I mean, the most, that's more addictive than I, that's more addictive than crack. That fentanyl is and it's younger and younger because uh, fentanyl. That's the load of drug they put in. You you mix it with cocaine or heroin and snort it. It's, it's a, 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 a little a dime size of fentanyl can kill you. Raw fentanyl. Are you yeah, so you. people are literally out on the street selling that. Yeah. That's what they selling? Yes, that's what they sell. Oh man, that's bad. Fitting all, fitting I, I can't all do bullshit. That's crazy. Yeah. That is fucking so, nuts. And people out there buying fitting. <laughs> in line, yeah. I, <coughs> people in walkers, wheelchairs. <clears throat> it's bad. Lining up to buy that. Yep. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking to myself the whole time. Damn, why I ain't thinking that shit soon? <laughs> <laughs> I can see him watching. out there selling fucking fentanyl, nigga. Fentanyl, Ajax. Oh, nigga. No, Timmy. It's bad, man. It's bad. You know, it's sad to see, man. It really is sad to see. Yeah. I mean, Baltimore has to be one of the most backward cities in America to, you know, today. they one of the most forward backward cities that I've ever seen. I cannot believe that, you know, people lining up. That is beyond bananas. So let's see who we got this morning. Y'all welcome everybody to the party. This is uh this is that show. We we come in here and we talk about anything and everything, but most little Timmy, each and every weekday morning, we are right here and we're here for y'all. We here for y'all just because we that's what we do. We don't we don't have anything better to do, bottom line. We try to get so, I'm, I'm actually sitting here watching drug deals and junkies, but they fine, they can watch themselves. Try not to get popped. Hey, I'm trying not to get shot. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm making a drug dealer babysitter. <laughs> that shit is crazy to me, Timmy. I swear. I still cannot. I can't I can't believe it. It's beyond yeah, well, funny. So we got a guest this you morning. Can. But let, let's say really? hello to our, our usual suspects. Good morning, Demetrius. What's up, Demetrius? Good morning, good morning. Like and share this feed and tell a friend. We here each and every weekday morning around 10, 10-ish, 10 because me and Timmy can't do shit on time, and we no. really don't give a fuck. <laughs> Most, nope. Mostly we don't care. Uh, good morning. Philly is definitely on the come up. Baltimore ain't. That's what Demetrius is saying. Yeah. So uh Bradley says they're giving they giving it free to people in Chicago. Giving what? Drugs? Fentanyl. Why? What the hell? Wow. Are, they, are they giving it away in Baltimore too? No, they ain't giving away they selling it here. Damn, that's crazy. Damn, man. Well, Look, right around, Bradley said they can throw right more off the map. Picture that shit. Ooh. They did not take Baltimore off the map. <laughs> they did. That's, that's so bad. They did it. Baltimore so messed up, they skipped it. That's <laughs> yeah. Oh, Big Mac. Like, oh. Hey, Demetrius said, I mean, well, Big Mac said he's Big Mac. <laughs> he's not Demetrius. Well, don't you need to change your name on the goddamn Facebook, okay? Aisha, welcome to the party. Hey, Aisha, baby. This nigga gonna say no government name. That's how your ass got caught. Look at his name on his look. Look at his name on his thing. He gonna say no government name, nigga. No, no given name. Tell Facebook, okay? You got your government name sitting all up in the Facebook like that. All right. Oh, yeah. He gonna oh, say yeah. Demetrius McMillan says no government. <laughs> what they gonna call you when you go to jail? <laughs> he not going to jail. He's not going to jail, but if he would, it would be snitch. <laughs> no. It'd be, be Macalicious. Lilo and snitch. <laughs> Sugar Rose and Bloom. Sugar Rose and Bloom, welcome to the party, girl. The 70 year old crowd. That's right. Yeah, Don't that's that's like. your last. Welcome to the party, Monroe. Good morning. He's Demetrius. That's what Jamal Petty is shit. 
Well, he's Demetrius, obviously, on Facebook, too. He talking about don't use the government name, and he got it all up there. My name, what a big-ass name tag. My name, Demetrius. My name, Big Mac. Don't call me Demetrius McMillan. Welcome yeah, to the party, y'all. That was, that was your affidavit, yeah. there, didn't it? Wait, you call them peaches? <laughs> 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 All right, y'all, we got company. So listen, let's let's get into our first topic, and then we're going to bring our guest in to talk about it. All right? Before we get serious, I don't know what's going on with Shaq, but Shaq apparently is extremely comfortable with his own sexuality, okay? Look at this clown. Look at his feet. What is going on with oh, Shaq? Yeah. Like, Shaq uh, is yeah. dropping the blue nail polish on them big crusty ass slave feet. Don't ask me why. Yeah, I really Nikki. don't. Hi, Nikki. Nikki. <laughs> Nikki. Look at your view. Look Shut that up. Look at the dress you got on and that match your dress perfectly. That is you, bitch. That is not me. That's Shaq, boy. That is your Shaq. No, Shaq. <laughs> you got the same dress on. You got the same dress, same powers as the dress. That is you, nigga. He got the blue, he got the blue toes and he got the ascot. Those are not my feet. I those are not my feet. Listen, y'all. Let's bring Sister Quintella in here to talk about this because those are not my feet. We got company. Sister Quintella, can you come in here? Hey, baby. How you doing? <laughs> Good morning, girl. How y'all doing out here? How you doing? Hi. What part of the world are you in, Sister Quintella? I'm in Gary, Indiana. You in Gary? Indiana. You know, I used to babysit for them Jackson boys. <laughs> so is it true <laughs> did Joe yeah. used to beat them he used to beat me too but I kind of liked it though honey <laughs> I know that's right girl uh, uh. what's going on so we talking about Shaq's feet right now did you see the picture let me see if I can show you this picture sister girl, you, need to, yeah, you need to start talking about Jack his feet honey coat them feet are just about a size 21, honey. <laughs> he got some blue, he got some blue polish on his toes, Sister Quintella. Uh -huh, and I eat him like Papa Smurf, honey. Oh Lord, don't, <laughs> don't tell me, don't don't let your freak flag fly. Honey, I'm trying to get on, uh, what is it called? Cold black. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It's called Cole. Get the heck out of here with that. Uh, uh, sex, uh, comedy show, honey. Mm. Oh, what is it called, Timmy? Since you tell it, you see, uh, Officer, Officer oh, Timmy right there. Officer Timmy sitting out there guarding junkies in Baltimore. He's a Baltimore police officer. Uh, arrest me, arrest damn it, I've been bad. Huh? I know. Arrest me, damn it, I've been bad. All right. <laughs> You keep licking your tongue out there like that, you'll get more than arrested. It's suggested and digested. <laughs> Listen, he actually likes old ladies, Mister Quintella. So you better be careful. You know, you know, Nick and my uh, my mother day was lit, honey. It was lit. What happened? I got me some dingaling for Mother's Day. Shut up. Yes, honey, my ass oh my was broke like an Amazon forest stick. <laughs> 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 he had, he, if he was anything like Shaq, honey, it was like a Mack truck hitting a, on a D on the highway, honey. Listen, <laughs> 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 hey, let's get into the news a little bit. So, honey, baby, what's going on? Did you hear that Kanye West is out here talking about um, Trump, Trump again? Kanye so, Mess, honey. Kanye Mess. Kanye Mess. <laughs> Kanye Mess is defending the Trump supporters in these streets, and he seems to believe that Trump is still still believe that Trump is doing a good job. That boy is cuckoo for cocoa puffs. He is beyond that. He is uh, beyond that. That, that. What kind of food talk is that? 
He said the liberals bullied the Trump supporters. What the liberal liberal bullied that? They, people they who are the Trump ones, supporters. Uh, going around wearing them hoods like the, uh, the KKK and all that. Yes. Mm, mm -hmm. That's the Trump supporters right there. Listen, they they traded in their hoods for the red MAGA hats. Uh -huh. They just need to add a T, maggot. <laughs> That's what the hell they need. They need to add a T because ain't nothing going great about what the fuck they doing to America. I don't know. Uh -huh. that, yeah, baby. They, as soon as they impeach it, I'm making me a peach cobbler, honey. <laughs> in the shape of his orange ass head. He yeah. about to pull up a piece. Get his ass out of the office, honey. I, I he is about to call out of the piece. Nixon was in office. Sister Quintana, wait, ain't you from Chicago? I'm from Gary, Indiana, baby. I'm like 20 minutes from Chicago. Oh, okay. Because okay. apparently this, it, Chicago has a new mayor, but they got the same old violence going on, honey. What you mean? 30, 34 people have been shot, five people killed. Just this weekend, I bet the mayor didn't put a gun in they, nobody's hands. Who the mayor? The mayor of Chicago. <laughs> Something happened out there. I don't know what happened, but the happened. So you know they tried to the, the the Chicago PD in in the city of Chicago is suing Justice Smollett because they want to make him pay back the mm -hmm. city for the. Uh, Roots that was he, you know, the, the little shit that happened over there with him. And from Empower, yes, Man, <laughs> from in the BLT community all round up. <laughs> Man, they got the BLT community the subway talking in the morning. Sister Quintella, sit your ass down there with two Nigerian foot longs, honey. Quintella's medication because she is moving her ass off. Yeah, oh, yeah. Tim, you got to give her a break. Sister Quintella. Yeah, baby. You celebrated your 87th birthday, didn't you? No, my 87th was in Jana era. <laughs> <laughs> I turned 87 in Jana era. Are you talking to us on your phone? Yeah, uh, on my cell phone, but I got to plug it up because the battery is low. On your celery phone. <laughs> she on her celery phone, Timmy. Give her a break. She, oh, she can't help it. Really? Hold on, baby. I'm plugging to my celery phone up. Oh, oh, you, thank you, Sister Quintella. You probably think we Jesus. Like <laughs> Sister Quintella. <laughs> Timmy, I wouldn't got her for you. You said, look at her phone. <laughs> Hold on, let me take a picture. Uh, <laughs> Sister Quintella, yeah, Sister Quintella said the BLT community. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the BLT community all riled up and had the white folks all riled up. That's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> Quintella, you are empire. too much, honey. They you are way empire. too much. They, they take Yep. Yes, they, they, right empower, they empower is going on. Isn't this the last season for Empire? Is it? Yeah, the Empire. You know, I watch it Empire, but I'm usually in bed after Wheel of Fortune go off. <laughs> <laughs> or sometimes I stay up for bingo. You know, I go out with Gus and we go to bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Gus, Mr. Quintella? That's your boyfriend? Gussie, Gussie. 
Who is that? My good girlfriend, Gussie. Oh, Gussie. Okay. How old is Gussie? My good girlfriend, Gussie. We go to bingo. And, and we and. sit up and we watch his empire. Who <laughs> did the me hotter than an Amazon fire stick? Who did? Lucy Lyon. <laughs> Lucy Lyon. <laughs> Look, she's clutching her pearls right now. He had my kitty cat hotter than a Notre Dame cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Miss Lee, you get eighty-seven, ain't no kitty cat. That's an alley cat. And you get eighty-seven, that's an alley cat. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Man, you can tell it's still out here working. Oh, it's no still out here working, y'all. This ain't no alley cat, honey. This a thunder cat, honey. <laughs> Yeah, that can't feel good. That can't feel growling, Sister Quintella. It, it still got that little grip to it, you know. <laughs> that grip. I'm 87, but it still got that little grip to it's it. It's like an arthritis grip. <laughs> no, baby. Like a blood pressure cuff. <laughs> like a blood pressure cuff. Like a blood pressure yeah. cuff. Yeah. <laughs> Just like a blood pressure cuff. <laughs> Uh, what? We're still rumbling. She is killing me over here. I can't even catch my breath. Who is Faith? When Faith starts to get in his booty. Oh. I'm going to be just like Rosa Parks. I ain't getting up for nobody, honey. <laughs> you going to get on it. This is Sister Quintella. We got one more piece of news. So, T.I., Went to Washington this week. Apparently, yes, I love me some T.I., honey. Huh? I love me some T.I. Yeah. T.I. ain't tiny either, honey. He ain't tiny. No, he ain't. So, T.I. apparently kept up uh, the something that Nipsey Hussle started. Nipsey uh -huh. Hussle and a few other people were going out to Washington to, um, to speak before Congress about prison reform. Uh -huh. You know, T.I. been in jail, Nipsey been in jail, you been in jail, Sister Quintella, <laughs> you know. Take the key, <laughs> I been in jail. Timmy put us all there. <laughs> Timmy, Timmy put us all there. And you, so everybody is talking, but uh, Van Jones recently spoke out to uh, TMZ about applauding people like T.I. and Mick Mill and all of the work that they're doing in the area of prison reform. Mm -hmm. So I think, what do you think about that, sister? Well, I, you know, I'm all for conjugal business, honey. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I think it should be reform because they, they got a lot of people locked up, honey. Who? The the government, right? Yeah. And, and you know, and then they got the children locked up for marijuana. Ain't nothing wrong with marijuana. God made marijuana. And then you they know, make it legal. Tell and they got to the, let them people out. Are you smoking? Let my people go. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, you don't tell my mess and I won't tell you. I know that. Pop, pop, pay. Pop, pop, pay. We can't talk about that in front of Timmy because Timmy know too many. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you know, since I'm done, y'all all see it. Come on, lock me up. Yeah. Uh, who do you think MLK Mistress was? Huh? Who do you think Mother of King Mistress was? You think Mother of King Mistress? Martin Luther King? Who was Sister Quintella? <laughs> she was a tenderoni. She was a tenderoni in them days. I, yeah, I'm all to Dr. King, honey. Did you? Was, was that all you did? I was, I was a young girl right. with Milana back in the day, honey. I could get, I had so many men falling up and behind me, I could have had my own Rose Bowl parade, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right, Sister Quintella. Yeah, Listen, thank right. you for coming in here and kicking me with me and little Timmy. You got to come back. Come lock me up, Timmy. Huh? Come lock me up, Timmy. 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 Come lock me up, Timm
Yeah. You have to come back to Tyler. You, you keep looking at your tongue. Like, you you're going to get more than that. Tell people how to follow you. <laughs> All right, babe. Huh? Tell people how to follow you. Okay. Follow Sister Quintella on Instagram. Sister Quintella Carwell on Facebook. Sister Quintella on YouTube. I just joined Twitter, but I ain't done nothing with it yet. And I'm on Snapchat. And tell me, I got naked pictures on Tumblr. Uh, what's your MySpace? What's your MySpace? I know you got one. <laughs> she got naked pictures on Tumblr just for you, little Timmy. Thank you. Honey, I, 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 you know, I was very popular on the Underground Railroad, Timmy. <laughs> You <laughs> got to come back, y'all. Follow Sister Quintella. We appreciate you getting up. Thank we you so much. know you was already up, Sister Quintella. Can I get a shout out to Jesse? Yes. Shout out to Jesse. Come on, TV Live. <laughs> you know, I'm old as, that bitch old as mud, honey. <laughs> you are a whole mess, Sister Quintella. All right, you know, I'm going to be in Baltimore. June 13th through June 16th, I'll be at the uh, Baltimore oh, College. All right. Come out and see me at the, in Baltimore. We're Baltimore. opening up for you. Yeah, June 13th through the 16th? Yeah, baby. Okay. Y'all, yeah, June 13th through the 16th, Sister Quintella at the Baltimore Comedy Factory. Opening and up for Lunel. Opening up for Lunel. So, y'all. Yeah, out there and check my girls out. Uh, Sister Quintella is going to have all of the people from the Senior Citizen lined up. Oh, yeah. yeah Next yeah. time you see me, I might have a little blue toenail polish right here. <laughs> <laughs> I put some barbecue sauce on them toes, honey. I know. That's that's right. <laughs> Tell me, Sister Quintella, the big game to I'm getting ready to go and smoke me my breakfast lunch. And I'm finna get off the teller celery phone. Okay. Right, baby, I'll see you next time. We'll see you in Baltimore. All right, sugar. You just right. like sugar so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Thank you for coming right, and hanging out with me and little Timmy. All right, baby. Bye bye, bye baby. Bye bye. Oh, bye -bye. oh Lord. Oh, she's alive. Tell her what's said. But that thing is a whole entire mess, okay? Uh -huh. I love we, her. We got to buy. We got to buy her goddamn tripod. She, she that bitch don't make me dizzy. I'm sorry, I can't even see straight. She done walked around the whole got She done walked around in circles with her phone. If I wanted to rob, and I saw her window open three times, I could have broke right in today. <laughs> we got to buy. We got to buy a goddamn tripod, boy. And then she be shaking all the time. Shit! I said, Sister Tyler, go on the, get on that table. It's an earthquake. She was shaking the fuck out of the phone. Yeah, I was going uh, to the death. I wasn't sure if it was me. I was like, <laughs> I'm getting busy. What's happening? <laughs> this is a whole entire mess, okay? Lord have mercy, Lord. I know. So, Sister Quintella, I know. Meek Mill, you know, Meek Mill is doing his thing, right? Right. Yeah, he's doing his thing. 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 He joined the... Uh, Thing, but recently, Meek Mill is is also uh, standing up for prison reform. Hold on, let me. I don't know what the hell that did. My shit ain't ain't doing what it's supposed to right now. Anyway, Meek Mill was allegedly denied entry into the Cosmopolitan in Vegas. He said it was a racialist move. So uh, he apparently had a fight when he was there before. Rumor has it that the Cosmopolitan got clapped back and said that they're not racist. They was just fool. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. They, so what you think about that, little Timmy? You think they was being racist? You said you think they was. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm be, I don't think they're being racist because they got money. He going to the college, they make, they, he's spending money. I don't think that's the thing. He got a lot of money to spend. They, 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 people, they see green. So I, I'm sure it was a problem beforehand. I, I mean, that's just my opinion. They see green. He ain't the, he ain't the, he ain't the only rapper and everything that comes to those places in um, Vegas. 
No. You know, they, they, spend, they spend big money. So I'm sure it probably was a fight before and they probably got banned out of there. That, that happened all the time. Didn't he get into a situation at the, wasn't that Meek Mill who got into the altercation at the MGM National Hall? But wasn't that him and his little crew uh, when they first opened? And, and I think they so. out? Right. I think so. I mean, sometimes you got to, I mean, it may not be you, but you got to control the people you hang with. You know well, what I'm saying? Typically, you hang with the people who are like you, okay? Yeah, but my thing is, you can't go in there and, and think that, you know what I'm saying? They would be like, you know, you can't mess around and start fighting. They ban your ass out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, association brings about assimilation. But the thing is, like I said, I, I'm not saying I, I wasn't there, and it could have been racial, but I'm just saying, as a business uh, business standpoint, it's money. He, you know, he got a lot of money. They would, they would want him in there. So there's a reason they yeah. don't want you there. I guess they was taking the position all oh, money ain't good money. They don't want his fucking money. And that's fine, though. Guess what? That's fine. Huh? They got the right to do that. I mean, somebody caused trouble in my establishment. I'm not going to let them back in the next week. Oh, I'm going to come back next year. No, you ain't. <laughs> no, you ain't. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know that he did. I, I don't. Who knows the story about what happened with Nick Mill at the Cosmopolitan? I hadn't heard about anything at the Cosmopolitan, but I do know that he got into the situation at MGM National Harbor. Right. So what does that tell you? That tell you apparently that there's an issue when yeah. it comes to certain things, right? When it comes to going out like that. I, I mean, there was an issue. I don't know that there's still an issue, but they saying, no, thank you. Do they want to do it? Take a chance? No. Just say no. They can't come in and call, and call it a day. You can go somewhere. It's enough place to go in Vegas. You ain't got to go there. Yeah, I wonder why he did go there. If he had a situation there before, I wonder why he actually did venture off back to there. Right. Another, another place we're going to ban. You know, black people, don't go there. Don't wear this. By the time you know black people. You are so anti-black. You are don't so not down. Black down. Black. 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 Bullshit. That Gucci shit lasted two minutes. <laughs> don't wear Gucci. They racist. That's you know they got Gucci shoes on. No, they probably had on Gucci flip flops when they were saying that shit. We last two minutes on it. Black people don't never stick to no issue. Black Lives Matter when sometimes, because I ain't seen shit about that in years. Oh, you're so messy, Timothy. You don't see shit about Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Everything is short lived, not just that. Look at what happened to Ebola. Where's Ebola? Where's the Ebola skin? That shit lasted like a whole month. Oh, 43 people died, and all of them was black. I don't know. They probably had two white people they was trying to kill, <laughs> and they died. And everybody else, you know, like the shit went away as fast as it came. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, exactly. They must have tore some shit up. And I agree with you. They probably did tear some shit up. I mean, you just don't want to take that chance of these guys coming in, and you know they probably got animosity about what the shit that happened last time, and they probably got put out or something. Why, why do it? Why have them come in your establishment and mess your shit up? I, I don't blame them either, but you know, I don't know what the case is. We'll 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 come back with more on that. Well, nigga, he ain't gonna do shit up but rap about it. Nigga, just rap. Nigga, do what you always do. Put the little car metal in your rap and shut the fuck up. <laughs> you better not do that because that's that's giving them some free promotion, honey. Yep. <laughs> that's giving them free promotion. I want to go just because Meek Mills can't get in. I'm like, shoot me, nigga. Move. Move, nigga. You can't get in. Move. <laughs> I, I like to be there to walk past that. Man, y'all hold up. Line. Line, he in the no nigga. He in the no nigga line. <laughs> <laughs> he be in line. Come on, Meek Mills. No me, no nigga. Move. I got to get no in. Nigga. Oh, that's the no nigga line over there. Uh-uh. I ain't with him. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, the nigga's protesting until the next day begins. You're right. I can't. Say Gucci. Nigga, I'm going to get you know flip flops on sale for thirty dollars. <laughs> you all niggas put that Gucci. Like Ivanka Trump, you know her line. Remember she had the little line. She had the clothing line. Every store had it. They were selling her shit and <laughs> back for a dollar. Ivanka mm -hmm. Trump, uh, her everything went kaplunk. Yeah, I'm so sick of all of that, man. I don't wear Gucci for the record. I'm not into those labels. I support black business. Shout out to Frame Leather. Uh, First of all, the line you're too big for Gucci. That, you, that should have said Gucciano. You are too big for the word Gucci. Gucci I don't do That's too small. No. You, or you, 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 you
five letters will not look right on you. You do Gucciano, you know, Louis Vuittonio. You can't do no five letters. You can do some long shit. You, you know, you know, some long. Well, how about you do Gook? Because like y'all can't even get to see the CI, you know, my like your big ass feet, you get espadrilles. You just for regular sitters. What you got on espadrilles? Cause your feet too big. I'm gonna get you a motherfucking salary phone, nigga. <laughs> so you asked for you asked me to get you a bitch for your birthday, Sister Quintella. That's her. That's her, motherfucker. I, I, I take it. I take it. Don't worry. I'm I'm I saw you all there licking your lips and shit when she kept doing this here. Uh, like, like, <laughs> Sister Quintel is still moving. <laughs> I give a twenty dollars for that. Get a whole close up of that. <laughs> your ass was getting stiff. I saw you raise up about five inches. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, boy, we gotta get out of here. I love you, little Timmy. I love miss you, baby. You. I missed you this holiday weekend. I'm coming out. Do. We gotta get on the road together. Man, I'll be in North Carolina Friday and Jersey on Saturday. Where in North Carolina? I, wanna, I don't know exactly. Me and Laughing Lenny. <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere. All right. That shit wasn't that funny, Monroe. <laughs> That's what Monroe. Thank you for your support. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar. Sugar talking about me. MM always clowning. Well, because he's a clown, and clowns clown. Anyway, thank y'all for joining the party. Just like we started late, we end late. But we here. We're going to be right back here tomorrow. We're here each and every weekday morning from 1010 to whatever. <laughs> Somewhere around there, okay? And today is Talk Back Tuesday. We'll be back tomorrow. It's whatever, Wednesday. Me and little Timmy right here talking about anything and everything and absolutely, absolutely nothing. nothing. Absolutely nothing. Remember, it's too early for this shit. It's and the most unprepared, prepared show on the internet. Just remember that. Ever. And yeah. we don't know shit. So we, we don't know shit. <laughs> we, talk about, we talk about just what we know. Nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we keep it real, real, real. Oh, thank y'all for hanging out, man. We having a we having a good time with y'all. So we'll be back tomorrow at ten ten ish. All right. See ya. See ya. <laughs>